Okay, this is my uh, my newest Tesla coil. It has a new primary winding down there. Um, over here is my multiple spark gap, which was essential to make this thing work. And uh, have a like a capacitor to uh, excite the primary. And Okay, so right there, that's tuned up pretty good. Okay, and once again, we'll turn it on. Okay, this is my multiple spark gaps made out of steel bars glued to a piece of ceramic tile. And that's my capacitor. This is Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, high-power multi-spark gap uh, Tesla coil. Now this is the primary coil that I used. Now when you have a Tesla coil, you, uh, need, you have a, a two resonance circuits. You have the primary circuit, which is a lower impedance circuit, and then uh, the secondary circuit has to resonate at the same frequency. And so you have to be able to tune at least one of the circuits and it's hard to tune the secondary because it's, it's wound on a PVC pipe or something and it's, it's uh, 
basically its frequency is set. So this is a way to tune the primary. So basically, uh, you have a coil that I use clip leads, and I can clip onto one part, and then I use use another clip lead to clip on another part. And depending on how, how much of the coil that you include in your your uh, circuit, you can change the inductance. More more of the circuit that's included, the higher the inductance will be, and so the lower your resonant frequency will be. And uh, so this is one kind of nice way to tune your circuit. Capacitors are typically fixed also. It's hard to make high voltage capacitors that are tunable. So I'm going to talk a little bit also about the physics of the spark gaps. Now, the spark gaps, I don't know if you noticed, are, are made out of uh, ball bearings. There's some ball bearings. And uh, by putting a bunch of spark gap, so spark gap, it, when it breaks down, it's kind of a random phenomenon. It may break down at one voltage one time and another voltage at another time, and it has a lot of jitter. But when you put a bunch of spark gaps in series, it reduces the jitter, so it makes a spark gap operation more reliable. A spark gap is basically a switch. So you charge up the capacitor, and then you want the switch to close, and then start the circuit ringing very quickly. And then uh, once the circuit's done ringing, you want the, want the uh, spark gap to open up so you can recharge it. So another problem with high voltage uh, spark gaps is if you just have one gap, it will tend to not uh, open up. It'll have a residual plasma that will stay on, and that will cause uh, your, uh, your transformer not to be able to uh, charge up the uh, capacitor again. So if you put multiple spark gaps in there, it makes it a lot easier to interrupt the circuit. Uh, more, more likely that it will uh, get a zero current and ship, uh, will basically open up the circuit so you can recharge the capacitor. So that's one of the reasons for using multiple spark gaps in a high-power Tesla coil.